What's up my boys, it is your boy Nisho here and today I got you guys a video talking about something that I think should be covered on my channel simply because of how relevant it is to the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! And um, pretty much it's, uh, it only really applies to the competitive players but um, it does help to know, you know, that Konami's switching things up so maybe we'll get more um, good changes in the game. Unlike, you know, uh, wing format. <laughs> so, um, Julia Hedberg, if you don't know who she is, she's, a uh, she's, a uh, one of the people in the development team at Konami. So she's more of like social media management and like, uh, networking and all this and that. And she's not really like, uh, involved with the actual game and like, uh, imports and any of that. So... If you go to her Facebook after this and you start to, um, you know, harass her about, you know, like, w w what's the next import? When are we getting X card? You know, um, she's not going to be able to give you an answer because she doesn't work in that part of the company. So she's in Zodiac Duelist, if you didn't know, which is pr pretty much the biggest Yu Gi Oh group there is, also one of the most savage Yu Gi Oh groups there is. Um, and uh, she put up a post on June 5th, which is four days ago from recording this video, which, uh, which I do understand, I'm pretty late with this, but um, I, I, I mean, I, I don't really have an excuse as to why I'm late, I, 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 just, I just didn't have the time that day, and then the days after that, it, it, it was just being stacked up, so I'm just doing it now. So, um, I, I just took the screenshots of her screenshots, <laughs> which is pretty funny. I took screenshots of her comments um, in, in her own post, and she goes through everything explaining how to, uh, the new process for the Konami ID. And, um, yeah, you can also follow her on Facebook. Uh, the reason why I didn't censor her, um, her name and everything, because, you know, I wanted to make sure people knew that this was legit. And, uh, you know, to have something that works like Konami, um, you know, the, you have your uh, credentials right there. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm just going to read off what she says. I'm not really going to uh, go off on too many tangents, or I hope I'm not. But uh, there's also going to be a Q&A at the end if uh, you didn't see the title of the video. If you just clicked on the video for no reason. Um, or if it's like in the part of the name that you didn't see until you actually clicked on the video, but you didn't look at the video name until you actually watched the video and then you, t you heard me say that it was a key. Okay, I'll stop. So, this year we switched from the Kasi system to the Konami card game system, uh, K KCGN for short. Um, you will personally need to change your Kasi ID to a card game ID, but once you've done that, you will like uh, KCGN a lot better. It has an online portal you can access via your smartphone or computer and a much more useful interface. So, your existing Kasi ID will be your game ID. So, uh, if you already have a Konami card and you didn't hop on this already, just make sure to hop on this as quickly as possible because uh, this is going to be something uh, that you're going to have to use moving forward. So please use the same number, don't go sign up for a new one, especially if you want your UDS points or world qualifying points and your rankings to stick with you. So, you know, in my case, um, it wouldn't really matter because although I do have a current Konami ID, um, I forgot the email and the password I used with it, so I'm just going to sign up for a new one. And uh, I didn't really enter any events anyway. I only entered one event and that was just to get an OTS pack and then I left. <laughs> so. Uh, and, and, and that was the locals, so um, I didn't really care too much. So, um, but you know, if you do have those points, or uh, or if you are trying to get to worlds or to other events, well, maybe not this season. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone this season already knows about this. This is more for the people who don't know about it yet and may might want to do it next season. So, just be careful about that. Uh, so. 
you'll you will need to complete a few steps, but it won't take that long. So first, you head to the main page of the uh, website, and the link will be in the description. Uh, card games uh, slash network uh, dot konami dot net. So uh, you you will see a Japanese site at first that switches to English, um, like in, in like a few seconds. I, I I don't know why it starts out as Japanese. Maybe um, Konami just wants everybody to be on the same website, so it probably finds your IP address and then you know gives you the language of you know your country based on where you are. You know that that would make sense, or based on you know your computer's default. I don't know. So uh, it, it looks like this. So you're gonna see the first uh, screenshot there. Um, click on it, and you know, as you can see, like uh, under the first screenshot, uh, I, I took these screenshots 22 hours after she actually posted it. So th this is this is when I actually uh, found out that she actually posted into, uh, this stuff in Zodiac, or I said Zodiac, Zodiac Duelist, <laughs> and. Uh, because uh, I actually already knew about the website itself. I just didn't think it was that like much, that big of a deal, but apparently it is. So um, next you'll go to an age verification screen, um, enter your birth date and click next. If you are 12 or under, you will not be able to register for a card game ID. So um, big boys allowed only, um, you know, uh, just, I mean, honestly, you, you can you can probably lie about your birthday, but um, I, I don't think it'll matter too much. Um, after that, you'll get a screen asking you to agree to the above, then proceed to next. And if you don't mind uh, data collection, just click um, uh, agree to the above and then proceed to the next. And then um, if you want to opt out, you can use use of access log and opt out through that. So uh, just be careful about that. Oh my God, my, my dog is just all over the place again. I got a dog now, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, he's pretty big, and living in a small apartment, it's like he, he can he can literally go on go on his uh, go on twos and then climb up of, of, on top of anything in my apartment, and it's it's a little scary, but he's but he's pretty tame. Um, he's already been potty trained, uh, so um, it's, it's it's pretty lit. And his eyes are beautiful. I'm, I'm sorry I'm talking about my dog, but I have a dog now. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, just uh, accept it. You know, if you want to opt out of data collection, then just go to the link and uh, st stuff nobody cares about. All right. So after taking care of agreeing or opting out, you'll arrive on the main Konami uh, card game network, uh, KGCN main page. Um, it, it does look kind of nice, uh, but it's... Like it's showing it a freaking OCG set, you know. So this is this is probably supposed to be like, like it's based around Japan, and you know it's I I, I think it's nice that they're they're trying to get us all into one place, but I think that's also a little um, sloppy as well. It's it's a little lazy that we don't each have our own like um, website section, but we do all have like Konami based websites for each country, so. Um, I'll give this a pass since this is only towards the competitive side and not really for everybody, right? So you'll see this screen, right? It's, it's, it's another colorful looking screen. Uh, this is the one that confuses everyone because it looks like you need to choose one of these options and you won't know what they are. Don't worry about all the different graphics. Just click on next at the bottom of the screen. So when you get to this colorful looking screen with all the arrows on it, just click next at the bottom um, and you'll continue on forward. So, you'll see a Konami ID login. There are two options for you here. One, if you already have a Konami ID, um, keep reading if you don't know what it is. <laughs> and one, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have one and need to generate one. So, uh, you know, the Konami ID is the cards that they give out, that uh, OTS stores give out, uh, so that you can uh, apply in their tournaments for Either it's like a game map or OTS pack or something like that. If you ever went to a store and you tried to apply for a certain tournament and they and they asked you if you have a card, um, they'll, they'll they'll probably give you one. But you know, if you go to a store that isn't an OTS store, then you probably have never seen a Konami ID card. But if you ever signed up for regionals as well, 
I'm pretty sure you, they, they would have given you an ID card or some big event there. So just a. Uh, but if you haven't been to any event ever, kind of like me, um, then you probably don't have one. Well, I do since I only went to like one. Uh, so if you already have a Konami ID, then you just uh, enter your ID or the email associated with it. And then um, it's not the same thing as a Kasi ID. All right. Oh, okay, I, I, ju I just messed that up. <laughs> Konami's IDs are used on the video game site. You might have signed up for one for Duel Links or for another game. If you don't have a Konami ID, so I, I guess, yeah, mo most of the community doesn't have actual Konami IDs unless you played Duel Links and try to transfer your data. Um, I, I can't believe I, I mixed up Kasi and Konami ID, and I'm supposed to be explaining the difference, you know? <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, uh, so most people don't have it. I mean, I, I actually just deleted uh, Duel Links uh, off my phone because I need space. And uh, I, I don't regret it, but it would have been nice. I, I mean, I was just a, t a little too lazy to make a data transfer. But I, I guess it is good that they're using um, the, like, the, like, the video games and the card games are finally coming together again. Because, you know, like, it's, like the Yu-Gi-Oh! video games have kind of been on a hiatus for quite a few years uh they've kind of been like low quality i mean uh the last good i think Yu Gi Oh actual game like console game or you know in, in this case it's, it's handheld it was a world championship 2011 not because it's 5ds but because of the amount of stuff you can do in that game it's it, it just it was just a whole lot better than um a lot of these mod current uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games where it is 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 like Yu-Gi-Oh Pro clones with like uh, text boxes, and it's not really all that appealing because Yu-Gi-Oh Pro actually exists, so there's no point of buying this game, you know. So um, if you don't already have one, you just uh, sign up. You know, it's like a regular any website sign up. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, I don't actually know how long it'll take. Because I actually tried to sign up for it, and um, I still haven't gotten the email uh, giving me the verification code. So, um, just, just, just understand that it's gonna take a while. But when you get the email, you, you know you can just continue on from there. So, um, fill in the fields. You will need the secret question in order to get back into your account if you forgot your password. Uh, so choose a question and answer that you will remember. Use a real email address which you can access. You will be emailed a code that expires in 60 minutes and you will need that code to register your Konami ID. Uh, use a real email address, spell it correctly, make sure you can access the email within the hour. So probably within the, she says within the hour. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's probably something like that, that may take anywhere from like two seconds to like literally 60 minutes so uh just be careful about that uh just 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 be on the lookout um for the uh entire uh hour on your email um so yeah uh and then after you have the konami id you can proceed to converting your cost id to a card game id so after you register you'll get this green and once you have the code put it in there so after you do that you'll be taken to this point and this is where you'll input your card game ID number. Um, if you legitimately do not have a cost ID, you can get one here. Um, you won't have to go to a store or anything. You just uh, sign up here um, now. So you can sign up for a Konami ID online. Uh, so I guess that makes it a lot more convenient. And so uh, it, enter your cost ID and password. If you still have your cost ID card in good condition, um, you know, uh, you could probably do that. Uh, if you don't remember your password, shame on you. This is her words, not mine. Um, you'll have to contact customer service and see if they can retrieve it for you. Remember that a lot of people are also contacting customer service to ask about their password, so it might be a, a little while before they get back to you. So, um, yeah, so as I was talking about earlier about the OTS stores, that's actually about the cost ID, not the Konami ID. Sorry, sorry for confusing you guys. And, um, so you input the Kasi ID to the website after you sign up to get a Konami ID. And then after you do that, the Konami ID, like the Kasi ID will become the Konami ID. 
a lot of work. <laughs> it really is. So, um, for cost IDs beginning with the 01, 02, or 04, you can contact us at card support at konami.com. You know, the email's right there. In the subject line, put password retrieval for Kasi ID. In the main email, now listen closely if you're actually going to try to uh, email them. Uh, in the main email, include your full name and your Kasi ID number. You'd be surprised how many retarded people email them with I can't get my Kasi as the full message. No name, no nothing. She didn't actually say retarded. That's, the, the, that's my input because if, if you... If you're trying to retrieve your password for a website and uh, you don't put your name or your information when going to customer service, how, how are they supposed to help you? My, my dog's petting my leg. Uh, <laughs> so for cost IDs in Europe and Oceania, I guess you contact Yugil at KonamiEurope.net. And she forgot Canada, apparently. Um, so. Canada, I, I think Canada and the U.S. Uh, both have the same uh, Konami um, supporter or whatever. It, isn't it like Konami of North America? So it's like Mexico, U.S., and Canada. Is, isn't that how it works? I don't know. Um, if, if anybody knows, you can just make me look stupid in the comments. So once you input your Kasi ID, you'll go to a page to edit your information uh, fill in the fields accurately. Please don't create obscene or offensive nicknames. I know it says age of six plus on a project uh, product packaging, but let's show a little maturity here. Uh, click agree to terms of use. So you'll make yourself a nickname uh, and you know uh, account uh, gender. <laughs> it only has male and female. <laughs> uh, okay, and uh, zip code. All right. Um, I mean, they're not asking for your full address, just the zip code, so I guess it's fair. And uh, the final steps, let me just pop it open. These are all screenshots, so. So, and then after that, you'll have the opportunity to edit your information. Please just make sure that you check everything carefully, then click register. There you go. Make sure you remember your password and check out all the different offerings on the Konami Card Game Network or the KCGN. All right, all right, this, 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 is, this is sounding pretty lit so far. Um, only problem is I haven't actually gotten my email back yet. I actually signed up right before I did this video just to see if I can like do it beforehand and then just have an example for you guys, you know, something to reference for you guys. But um, they haven't sent me an email back yet about my, uh, my code yet, so um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, how long it takes yet. Um, did I accidentally just delete it? Ooh, I think I did. Uh, okay, let me... Alright, so starting off, we got our first question from Aaron. Um, I blocked out his name and his picture because, you know, obviously we don't want... Um, I don't want people coming back to me be like, oh, Nisha, you, blah, 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 blah. you know, <laughs> all up my comment section, like, oh, you exposed this person, you exposed, and, you know, like, oh, they're, they're coming to that, because, I mean, I, I know it's kind of like a, it's not likely that it'll, that it'll happen, like, most people don't care, but, you know, it's just to stop that one person, you know, from being a dickhead, so, anyway. So, why was this added? And Julia asked, um, do you mean why did we change from Kasi to KGC, KCGN uh, or Kasi was due for improvements and understandable, thanks. Uh, next, we have um, Jason asking, does this apply to all regions? And Julia does respond saying, Kasi is replaced across the board. Both the OCG and TCG are using KCGN now. And you know, as you saw earlier, um, it was pro uh, promoting the collector's pack uh, for ARC-5, and that is an OCG-only set, so um, OCG um, definitely made the switch as well. So, Valerio, uh, I, I don't know if I said that right. Um, so, he asked, when does it start applying, and which date uh, you'll no longer be able to join the tournament with your Kasi ID? Um... And then we, we got a, a few guys uh, 
you know, um, uh, trying to answer his question. But Julia does come in after uh, saying, probably now we started the switch on March 30th, and I'm not sure why it's taking this long for it to get um, uh, implemented. You know, as I said, I didn't know about the website. I just didn't think um, it was actually a big deal. Like, I heard about it. I was like, oh, yeah, Konami's making a new website. It's, it's, it's not anything... Yeah, so, like, uh, Konami has made websites in the past, and they weren't big deals. Like, like that time that they tried to make uh, that online website that was, that was like, dueling similar, that thing was so bad. Man, that thing got taken down in, like, a few months, man. Almost nobody used it. Uh, so, next, we have, uh, my name, Jeff. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm real sorry. Uh... So he asked, how do you use the new Konami ID at events? And uh, Julia responds graciously saying, you don't use your Konami ID at events, you use your card game ID. You won't really need to worry about the Konami ID for TCG events. So the card game ID and the Konami ID are two different things. Uh, as she did state earlier, the Konami ID is really more related to the video game part, you know, like Duel Links. Uh, the card game ID is your costly number that's going to be transferred over if you already have one or they're going to give you a new one. And that's going to be the one that you use for uh, applying for um, events. So she says here, card game ID works ident uh, identically to cost ID. It is your cost ID reborn in a glorious new stage of existence. And then Jeff continues on. So when I switched from Kasi to the game card ID, my Kasi card was barely readable since I used it a lot. Uh, do I need to get a new card for the ID? And Julia says you can actually get it on your phone. Um, Jeff responds, how? The new ID. And Julia says, once you have a card game ID, go to the main page. And on the side menu, you will see card game ID slash barcode. Um, click that and it'll generate a new barcode for you and your ID number. Um, I forgot to take a screenshot of the rest, but she just says uh, you can save it to your phone. So uh, in that context, I'm assuming that it's going to be like a PDF or a image of a barcode, and that's going to be your actual ID. So if it is an actual image, just make sure that you save it. Um, keep it somewhere where you know you'll be able to actually uh, find it again. So next we have Tommy. Um, asking, so is the nickname we choose going to appear on the standings instead of our actual names? Um, and uh, Julia just comes in and says, no. All right. None of that weep shit in here. <laughs> uh, all right. So Q&A. Uh, so next we have Alex, not from Street Fighter, although he's one of my favorite characters, if you didn't know. So... <laughs> uh, Two questions. One, I never did anything online with my cost ID that I remember. So will that make a difference? And two, and I and I have since lost my cost card uh, some time ago. So is there a new a, a way to get a new physical copy? So Julia does respond saying you can't get a new physical card with the old number if you never did anything online. You'll need the original password. A number that was on the sticker so customer service may be able to help so Alex says respond back I do have the old number I wrote it down at the last regional I went to had a judge look it up where would I go to get the physical copy if doing this won't get it thank you for the quick reply as well so Julia does respond saying we don't have any more blank Kasi ID cards we used to print stickers and put those on the cards but for the last few years we've actually had the numbers pre-printed on the cards this is actually the reason why I lost my first Kasi ID. Because um, what they did is they gave you, they had a whole bunch of blank cards, right? And so what they did is in, instead of having the cards like already have like their own password on them, they would go into a bag of stickers, right? Like of, of sticky notes, like the, <laughs> that you would, uh, that they would just give you one, right? And it would be three copies of the same sticker on, on a single page or a single little slip, right? And, uh, you know, you would just put, um, you would just take one of the stickers and put it on the back of the card. And then if you ever needed, and then you save the other two stickers and then one the card, uh, just stays there. You know, the problem is one is that the ink didn't last that long. All right. So if you carried it around a lot, you know, maybe if you sweat a bit 
um, maybe even just a regular heat, if you just rubbed it around a bit, if you carried it in like a wallet or something and in, in like a tight place, um, the ink wore off kind of quickly. So what happened was is that when I was actually trying to use my uh, cost ID uh, for the website to sign up for the website, um, the password actually got blurted out. So I didn't see the password at all. And um, I, I, I really couldn't guess it. Like I, I tried every single number. Well, I, I didn't try every single number. I, I tried as, as many numbers as, uh, as I did um, until I got tired and then I just stopped and I was like, oh, whatever. Now the card I have now, the one that I used for that one event just to get an OTS pack that I didn't even get any good out of, um, that one actually has the password and the number already on it. So that's the one I'm going to use when I get this email back. But, um, you know, like, if I also lost the other two slips because it was a very small slip. Like, well, I, I didn't, I wasn't going to carry that around. Are you serious? <laughs> so I, it's, it's real nice that they actually put it on the actual card but if you had but if you had a konami card for that long a kasi id for that long for when they were still using the stickers and you don't know your password anymore you you might as well sign up for a new one just just saying so alex is responding uh well worth a shot it work if worse comes to worse i can just do a new one since i don't really care about the stats at all thanks for the quick replies julia appreciate it uh Alex lost his Kossi ID password. Be like Alex, all right? <laughs> um, so Abel does um, with the donkey. <laughs> donkey has this freaking profile picture. That, that, that's why I didn't censor it, because the because the dong is too strong, man. The dong is too strong in this one. Um, you might have to change your profile picture, though, because, you know, some you know, there, there are creeps out there. So how come emails take forever to get a response? It's been two months. Sad face. Uh, Dio um, from JoJo, still no email verification. Uh, Julia, you know, as I said at the beginning of the video, she doesn't work in, she only works in the, the development team and networking team, so she's not in customer service. She doesn't know how long it takes, um, how long it's supposed to take. Um, so don't bombard her with questions about that because obviously she won't be able to give you an actual answer. So Spencer is saying, uh, I'm sure this has probably already been answered, but is a switch necessary for competing in the North American World Championship qualifiers, nationals for short? I mean, actually it's not shorter, that's actually longer. Wait, I said the full name, so nationals is shorter, but the, 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 the acronym is actually N-A-W-C-Q. I mean, everybody knows. Okay, and so Octavio says yes, um, it, it's not Julia responding, so I don't know if this is legit or not, but I assume it is. It makes sense. She did say that it would apply uh, immediately. So, yeah, if you're going to Nats, I'm pretty sure you already did this, but if you are and you didn't know about this, here's your chance. So, um, here's Julia just saying again, your Kasi ID number is your card game number. You can keep using your Kasi ID card when you register, or you can use the online barcode and number, do whichever you like the best. And I think that's it, yeah. So if you still want to carry your card around, if you still have your card and you still know your number, um, and you sign up using KCGN, um, that, which means now you know your Kasi ID is also your card game ID, you can um, apply for events still with the same number, same everything. Um, it won't be too much of a difference on your part. Um, so it definitely is convenient that they made it that way, that it's not a whole new thing. It's just a uh, remaking of the Kasi ID. So um, yeah, I, I guess that's all we have to say for now. Um, Shout out to Julia, man, for putting all this information on Zodiac Duelist. Um, I'm pretty sure most YouTubers have already covered this, but if they haven't, then, you know, you have this video right here. And, um, you know, she actually does, she is in, in, Zodi in Zodiac Duelist a lot, so, um, and I'm pr pretty sure she, she doesn't mind people messaging her, as long as it's not something like stupid questions, if it's like legit questions, I'm pretty sure she won't mind answering them for you. Uh, she does work at Konami, so uh, she she might hear a thing or two. I don't know, 
but you know obviously she doesn't work in the sections that actually apply to the game um, itself you know she, she does more as I said before she does more of the development team and all this and that I've actually worked in the development department uh, as an intern before and I can tell you that I don't know half the stuff going on in a company <laughs> all I did was just do Photoshop and uh, help uh, help data clean up and manage social media that's that's all I did the entire time I was there and I, I did that job for like what like uh, seven months yeah like seven months I did that job so a little more than half a year so uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm telling you she she doesn't know anything going on at Konami again but um, yeah so I, I guess that all that's all for now if you enjoyed um, I don't know. Just tell somebody. I mean, I don't think you have to make them watch this entire video. Just show them how to do, you know, the whole thing with the website. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's it's just signing up for a website. You know, it's it's not a big deal. But uh, it's it's big if you want to like move. But it's it's something necessary. I said it was something big. I mean, it kind of is big since they're like shifting gears a, bit, a little bit. But it's it's, it's kind of a necessary step to. Uh, your continued competitive um, career in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, but then again, a lot of people don't care about being competitive like me. I mean, I don't care too much right now. I mean, maybe in the future, maybe when I actually have the money and time to go to, well, I have the time, when I have the money, <laughs> the money and uh, the dedication to actually learn the game thoroughly, not just from a uh, subjective standpoint where I, I, I like because a lot of people just only like focus on part of the game that they care about kind of like what I do I only talk about certain decks I don't talk about meta I don't do meta calls I don't always look at the OCG and be like hmm I should talk about why this is meta I, I look at what I like about the game and I make videos about it that's what I do so my so my Yu-Gi-Oh experience has always been subjective. It hasn't been objectively based on, you know, like every single thing. I mean, I still keep up to date with like what, what like what's good and everything with that. But you know, it's it, it's it's not always something interesting to talk about. You know. I mean, honestly, I, I don't. I mean, I don't make as many videos as I could be, but um, that's because I'm not as invested into the game right now. Maybe in the future. I, I keep saying maybe because you never know these things. I mean, I, I can promise you the world, but if I don't deliver, then what, what's the point of promising you it, you know? Anyway, I'm done rambling on. I hate when I say at the beginning of the video, I don't want to ramble. I end up rambling on anyway. This video is going to be like another 40-minute video. Um, but, you know, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Nisha here, actually signing out this time. Peace.